So we're about to make, we're gonna have a big Chinese feast because I've been craving Chinese food. I've been seeing all my lovely mukbangers being able and available to get to the Chinese restaurants. Here in Muskegon, there's none open. There's no sushi. There's no, they closed all of them down. I'm not sure what's going on, but I can't handle it. I need my Asian flavors. So let's get into this video, y'all. I did a little prep last night. And this right here is going to be our crab ragoons. One pack of crab meat, two um, sticks of cream cheese, sauteed onions. No seasoning in that yet. This is going to be our egg rolls. We have some cabbage, green sprouts. That's um, I sauteed them a little bit just so I can pull out the water out. Some carrots and some tofu. We also have some ground, a whole pack of ground turkey in there. It's on the bottom. Egg rolls. These will be our spring rolls. We have some of our rice noodles that was cooked. A little bit of the mixture from the egg roll. Some um, carrots. And I just forgot I do also have some. I have some celery for that. Because I like celery in mine. And we have a little bit of celery. I'm gonna put it in now. I prepped all this last night. I decided to work smarter, not harder. These are our egg roll wrappers we're gonna be using. We're gonna be making our crab ragoons with these. Our spring roll wrappers that we had that's left over. Egg wash with a little bit of water. Now, first we're going to season our egg rolls. We have some sesame oil. Good old chili sauce, my best friend in the kitchen. Liquid seasoning. Rice vinegar. My mixture, this has hoisin, white vinegar, sweet chili, soy sauce, and it's on the sweeter side. And you can't have Chinese food without their spices. I put this in everything I use for Chinese, but I learned the hard way. When I tell you a pinch, I don't even do this no more. I don't do that no more, because I'm not a pro. But this, I mean, a couple dabs of do you. There you go, boom, done. Push you to the back. Hello, my love. How are you today? We're gonna go with some of our good old sauce. A little rice vinegar, a little tart. I love me a little heat. A little bit of liquid seasoning. And I'm going to leave out the sesame oil. I will put a, a, a pinch. That's it. Welcome to the party. How you do? This one, all it needs for me is a little bit of this. And since I'm already so spicy, just give it a little spice. Boom. We're gonna mix these up and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. So all I do is put a little bit of filling. I like to spray it outside instead of brushing them. I'm gonna have to do this this way. Take the straggler out, a little more water, and you just roll. Be rolling. 
There you have it. My Asian um, auntie showed me how to do this. These things dry out quickly. And then I'm just gonna freeze it and it'll be in my video tomorrow. All right, y'all, now we're back. All I did was spray these with some, um, a little bit of water. Now we're just gonna close them. And making sure you're going right against the grain of that cream cheese, because I love these. I always put too much. But you gotta make sure you don't have air in there. And that's why we're going right across the cream cheese. All right, let's see. All right, y'all, so we're going to freeze this. We do have leftover. And our spring roll wrappers, they were during this. They just kept breaking. So I took out another pack out the freezer. And I'm just going to add this to this. I don't need to waste it. I guess my hands is clean. Then we'll roll these tomorrow once that um, defrosts overnight in the refrigerator. Like it says on the...
Hey y'all. Can y'all see me? All right, y'all. I've been craving Chinese food so much. And I'm so tired of seeing all of my lovely mukbangers eating all this good old food. And Muskegon, we don't have not one good Chinese spot open. I went to one Chinese place, it was the worst Chinese I've ever had. I've never gotten their food before. And they're the only place in Muskegon open. So, first I'm gonna stop, start with my chop suey. My prep game was strong today. I said, nope, I am not about to be trying to get stuff. This right here is just some oil. Good old oil. When you're dealing with these kind of pans. Excuse my dishwasher, y'all. Y'all know how I, how I get down in this kitchen. Hopefully it's not too loud. But if it is, I am sorry. I cannot work when I have dishes around me. It's a real true disorder for me. And I can't work if stuff is not organized while I'm trying to work. I get very frustrated very quickly. So we're gonna start with this. this beef. I cut up some beef and I put some of my homemade sauce in it and let it marinate. On this plate for our chop suey, we have cut up mushrooms, carrots, celery, bamboo, um, you know, they are chestnuts, spring, no, that's not spring. Come on, what is these called? I do this every time I get on camera. What the hell is your name? What is your name? Bean sprouts, that's your name. Bean sprouts and some onions. We're gonna use a pinch of that. When I say a pinch, y'all, a pinch. A little goes a long way. We have some garlic. Use fresh if you have it. A pinch of ginger. Squeeze ginger. Now we're going to add our veggies in. So I got a big enough pot. Yeah, those uh, mushrooms going to cook down. I actually want to keep my sprouts out. I like to have some crunch at the end. Keep the sprouts out. We're gonna let that cook down and we're gonna move to the next dish. using we have some more sprouts chopped cabbage onions so I ran out of fresh ones so this is fresh and these are canned so that's they're, they're two different kinds but hey they didn't have any more fresh ones in the store at all we're going to cook off our meat we're going to 
use some shrimp and some chicken. They're marinating in the same exact thing as the other meat that I told you guys from earlier. And you please flip over. Why are you trying to make me waste dishes? Cutting up on this dog on camera today. I'll put hands on you, I'll tell you that right now. When I ask you to flip over, just flip over. What's wrong with you? You keep grown. Showing out and showing up on this camera. To ensure these are done, we're going to cover them up for a minute. Check on good old suey over here. And the worst part about cooking for me is knowing I gotta clean this stuff. Once the stove later, it's gonna take a good amount of work. So I tell you right now, cooking big meals on gas with your eyes like this, you can't really clean while you go because you'll be done burnt yourself. And that, that's one thing I don't like about my this stove. That's the only thing. But another stove you can clean as you go to ensure, you know, all right, so done. I'm gonna leave it right on in there. It's gonna be okay. These shrimp gonna take two seconds. Come on, flip over. Mind your madness. I'm tired of having to keep telling you the same old thing. Who has I say? Cause I do not want no overcooked shrimp in my equion. Come on, why are you jumping out the pot acting up? Okay, we'll let this cool a little bit before we continue with the rest. We don't let it cool, but I'm just gonna add the stuff that's going in here. Remember that's onions. Um, sprouts fresh and cam which I prefer is all fresh and a little bit of cabbage that's all that's it I need to stop watching um <laughs> my mukbang because I swear for goodness <laughs> a lot of my slang be coming from now best friends that do Y'all see that? Everything I cooked all the way down. Now. I'm gonna add some water. Go into the sink, y'all. Gonna cover it completely. Now we're going to season this. We have some poison sauce. Oh, 
homemade sauce. My other homemade Chinese sauce. If you want those recipes, go back to that previous video. You will find them there. some brownie. Brownie sauce. And we're just gonna let this simmer and cook. Gonna turn it down. Just let it cook. All right, right here we have some eggs. Two, four, six. I think it's around 11 eggs in here. on grown trees. Let me get the right utensil. Let's season this. We have a, a pinch of our Chinese spice. Literally a pinch. When I put too much of that stuff in there, my husband won't eat it. He is overbearing. This is some sesame oil. Some cornstarch. Cornstarch. So I'm just going to do a pinch of my um, the soy sauce. This is not the sweet one. This is the soy sauce blend. Alright, we're just gonna set this aside because we're gonna cook these closer to the end. Right in the refrigerator. And I'll be back with I'll be back to you, little friend. On to the next. We have some chicken. In here. We have cornstarch, we let it sit overnight. That's how we soften our meat. Cornstarch, a little bit of chili sauce, and that's it, that's all. <laughs> Here I go again. 
Now we're going to, this is gonna be uh, my husband love pepper chicken. This, this will be my take on pepper chicken. This whole menu is my take on it. So please, when you see me, you can already see there's no Asian in me, right? Right? So I do a little bit of our soy sauce blend. And this will be going into a sauce just so you guys know. So we really don't have to season it too much. A pinch of good old five spice. And we're going to add some cornstarch to this. Some more cornstarch. We done dropped our um, chicken. I probably can hear it over there. Now we're going to go to our lo mein. Put some oil down. This is a very hot, hot wok. Didn't think this through, so excuse me. Gotta move this stuff closer to my body. All right, we're gonna throw chicken in. mess all you got to do is remove the water crystal just remove the water to my madness y'all carrots and this is some napa cabbage you had in the freezer I got some, um, I'm drinking on some, what is it called? Kabucha. I love it. This is when I wish I had a bigger walk. Down, but that don't mean it's clean. <laughs> All right, the rest 
ce la abia zis. Our shrimp. I think it may be too early. It's still too early for these shrimp. I don't like my, my um, shrimp to be overcooked. That's the worst thing. And that um, Napa cabbage for my um, grocery haul, my prepping haul. I um, prep that and put it in the freezer because I love to like add it to little things. And I love a lot of vegetables, y'all. Y'all probably like, man, that's a whole lot of veggies for that little bit of noodles. Well, it's actually more noodles than you think. Those are just some low main noodles. I'll show you the package real quick. This is what it'll look like. All you gotta do is follow the recipe that's provided on the back. All right. I'm not gonna try to do that the wrong way. I'm gonna add me a little bit of oil. My good old soy sauce mixer. Poison. I love spicy. Um, my sister DJ, man, she would be in heaven. I think that's one person who like Chinese as much as I like it. Some good old. A little bit of ginger. I gotta go pull this chicken, y'all. I'm sorry, I'll be back. It's totally, it was ready. I'm here. Not quite, buddy. It wanted to be ready, but it wasn't ready. It was not ready. Pinch of my Chinese. Vinegar, rice vinegar. And kitchen browning sauce. That's all, y'all. I'll be back with another dish. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to run over there and, and um, tend to my um, fire. <laughs> but this is the final product. Don't look good. Look at it. Look at it. All right, y'all. So we don't let our chop suey cook down. We season it with some liquid seasoning to taste we have a corn starch slurry right here and all we're about to do is just add it right on in add a little at a time because you don't want to make it too thick and we can also use that we're going to use that to make our egg foo young um gravy so don't throw it out
We got our last batch of chicken going. And then I just added those. Um, my husband said he's never had chop suey, so I just wanted to make, make a couple dishes he may or may not have had, but I'm craving Chinese, y'all. And it's not fair that the mukbang community all around the world is having all this good old Chinese and not one spot is open here. I wasted dishes and I was using this for the seasonings. I got a whole, I'm rinsing off all my dishes as I go and then putting them in the sink so when that load is done and that dishwasher, when I tell you, all you gotta do is reload and keep it moving and not have to scrub no dishes, that's me. This is the consistency that I, I'm looking for. It's not a, a gravy per se, but it's a thick sauce. One. Go in and do what we need to be doing. Using Asian people are always doing this. Take a trick out of their book. Stop. Now we're going to add our diced onions, diced carrots, cabbage, and sprouts in the peas. We're going to go in last. The sprouts are going last too. I really don't want them to be completely cooked. Crunch, crunch. I'll be back when it's time to season it. All right, guys, we're back. We threw our rice in and our cooked stuff in. Now we're going to add some poison. Good amount. garlic ginger our soy sauce mixture a little sesame oil some browning sauce A little Chinese spice, spice, a pinch. My husband hates when you have too much of this in there, he won't eat it. A little bit of liquid seasoning. That's it, that's all. Need a little chili. A little vinegar, rice vinegar. A little bit of my sauce. If you want that recipe, just go to the previous Chinese video. all she wrote guys I'll be back with the next recipe nice and juicy all right y'all we're back we have our mixture I 
gotta make sure everything goes inside the spoon. Make sure your grease is really hot. And you drop. chicken I have it sitting over here draining some of the grease off we're gonna take on homemade my Chinese sauce drop it so we're gonna drop it over here the poison Little chili sauce. That's all. That's it. Okay, I swear I do. <laughs> Y'all don't even have to ask me like who do I be watching because I'll be using it. I'll be taking a piece of it. Now that I'm done, let me give y'all a look. Barbecue Chinese little chickens. Pick young. My infamous juicy rice. If y'all like these recipes, please like, comment, subscribe, and be a part of the Uwe Army. I'll see y'all later.